Homegrown Talent Initiative was co-created and launched in 2019 with the vision to improve student and economic outcomes in rural communities. Through diverse stakeholder engagement, Colorado Education Initiative, Colorado Succeeds, and many partners supported rural districts in developing a shared vision for graduates and expand career-connected learning opportunities. Each HTI community designed and implemented their own plan for expanding career-connected learning and engaged in a robust cohort model to learn from one another. For many districts, the work of HTI has transformed into the work of the district. No longer thought of as a separate project or work, these ideas have permeated into instruction, school values, and long-term strategic plans. For us, Homegrown Talent has been an evolution. We started with a very small team with one principal who in the very first year decided to move on. And it became about how do we build a full team that encompasses every piece of what we're doing. We kind of, from that experience, adopted a, a shared leadership structure in which all of our different stakeholders were able to contribute to the work of HTI. We've had a lot of successes and there's been a lot of achievements at Durango High School. Probably one of my favorite is the development of our internship class. Durango High School is taking the graduate profile into businesses and saying, this is what our intern is, is meant to do here. These are the skills that we are hoping that they will show and learn and grow while they're here with you. And then they're also checking back in with their internship class, again with that profile saying, are you modeling these things? Are you doing these things? How can you continue to grow in this internship experience? It gives our kids that haven't felt like they had a place because they weren't a college kid. It really gives them an area that they're going to be able to be passionate about and find their strengths and be successful later on. Our district made the great choice to hire a Native American liaison. Her full-time job is to come be a part of these programming decisions and to make sure that those voices are heard and that we're moving forward with a clear understanding of the needs of our Native students, of our minority students. We hosted our first ever, we called it our Futures Fair. And the idea was that we brought in community partners, educational partners, anyone who could offer an opportunity to kids, whether it be through an internship, a job, or just telling kids about what their day-to-day -day looks like. We had a hundred plus organizations and businesses, partners from the community come and join us and get to talk to every one of our students. It is starting to take root and we're starting to get questions from students and parents and staff about how can we fill in the blank for our student, right? How can we help them become more aware of this career, this industry, how can we help them prepare for that next step? One of the things that was really important to me is that there was a student voice. And so I developed a principal advisory committee that consists of anywhere from five to 10 seniors. We took a, a long look at our master schedule and we just said, we need to start preparing our kids for high school. So we started at the junior high level and what we have is an elective will. And the reason that we have an elective will is that our seventh and our eighth graders get exposure to all different electives before they hit ninth grade and so they have an idea of the pathways that they want to go down. We have the university route, the career and tech educational route, as well as the traditional route. We have modified our graduation requirements to include uh, career connected activities. That's like internships and exposure and experiences in career and tech ed programming, experiences out in the community, working with our local business development. We had hired a college and career coordinator to support that work. It's really kind of given us a focus. If our work doesn't align with moving our vision of graduating all of our students with these experiences, if it doesn't align with that, then we don't do it. Prior to HDI, the certificate program did not exist here at Elizabeth High School. We are certified by the state of Colorado to provide a certified nurse assistant program. We're bringing in a new automotive technology program. One of the things that made this successful for us was changing our traditional bell schedule. We were on what's called a rotating block. So 
classes met three days one week and two days the next week. That wasn't very conducive to internships. When we looked at programs like internships, apprenticeships, you couldn't do that when you went to an employer and said, oh, this student's going to be available on Tuesday this week, Wednesday next week, if we had a snow day, maybe Monday the next week. That didn't work for them. So we had to make a schedule change. It would not have happened had we not been a part of the HDI process because we had had the same schedule for 20 years. This helped us move forward. The Homegrown Talent Initiative is rooted deeply in local context so that solutions are homegrown, innovative, and meet the needs of students, families, and the community. HTI is centered around the edge economy, improving educational and economic outcomes. Project Bike Tech, that's one of our early HTI programs. It's a program where kids take an elective class where they are working on bikes and they are learning how to become a bike mechanic and kind of the ins and outs of bicycle repair. So you can not only earn industry certificates in bike repair, but also in entrepreneurship and business. It just makes that onboarding, that recruiting, and that initial entry of our workforce that much smoother and really sets those kids up for a, a long time success and that's a good thing for business. It has changed how our community has viewed the schools, has viewed the school district. It has significantly increased this trajectory around partnerships. As we began this work and really began thinking about, you know, this concept of, you know, the edge economy, it fits so well in our community. West and East Grand, we're called the Grands, and we support each other. This project has really encouraged and solidified that partnership. One of our great partnerships through our HTI piece is with our internships and having a coordinator. That's both for West Grand and East Grand. Once we got that director, it just, it drove everything else and it, it, it let her make that connection. We have West Grand students taking EMT class in Granby. We have East Grand students that come here to Kremlin to take our CNA course. And so we're just looking to expand those opportunities. Working together, challenging each other, pushing each other. We have some friendly competition, but all in good fun and we're all here for the kids. That's a huge success that we can't understate. Like we have to celebrate that we are two school districts working together, which doesn't happen very often, especially because we're very different school districts but yet we can still come together for the benefit of kids. We wanted to focus on bringing career exploration to all students through a variety of ways. We wanted to expand our internship program. We also uh, wanted to focus on capstones. Um, and so the graduate profile really went along with um, getting kids to the point where capstone is uh, a way for them to show um, their skills and graduate from Holyoke High School. We surveyed our businesses, our students, our teachers, our parents, discover what the main skills that we wanted a Holyoke graduate to have when they graduated. Our internship program is usually only about 40 minutes a day for students and we found that that really just isn't enough and if we could expand that to multiple class periods that they'd be willing to work with our kids. So we got some new partnerships because we said this is why kids need to have, you know, three, four hours a day um, to go out to an internship. We really tried to build up our community to see that they're mentors for these students and that they're just growing our community by the time that they're investing in these students. We're really asking educators to rethink what's possible for their communities and sit in partnership with business and industry and higher ed and, and imagine a new future for their communities. Homegrown Talent Initiative is an opportunity for us to work with rural communities all over Colorado to explore how can we give more career-connected learning to our students. The Graduate Profile is a North Star visual document that combines the skills and traits that students and educators and community members and business leaders and civic leaders in a community say, these are the things that matter to us. HTI districts are now leaders in career-connected learning, bringing all partners across their edge economy together to build on local economic strengths and create a shared vision for the future 
where students see themselves contributing and thriving in their local communities. School experience is much more exciting for students. They feel like their learning is more relevant, more applicable to the real world. And as a result, the teachers are saying that more students are engaged in their learning. It's incredibly exciting to see this work come alive. Colorado Succeeds has worked on career-connected learning policies for over five years, and this is the culmination of seeing it in practice. We get to follow along and learn from educators about what's working, what's possible, and what are the barriers that are still in the way so that we can make sure that more kids have these opportunities across our state. Too long in our society, both in the broader conversation, but particularly in education, our rural communities have been left behind. The Homegrown Talent Initiative is a way to name that, to honor it, to invest in it, and then for us to all learn together what makes it possible.